Yes, sir. All right, let's move on. In New York City right now, guys, there is a recent development. And these uh, women, they dress like green goblins. And people are... Um, it's just the weirdest thing. Let me see if I can get on Daily Wire to show you something else, guys. Because what this shows... All right, no, no, let's go back. All right, this is a short video uh, of what these green gobblers... You know, for those of you who watch Batman before you should have an idea of where this is going now look at that some people don't, don't think hollywood has an impact on people's uh decision and spirit uh, this video also shows you that's not the case now look at these women in the, in the train You're on mute. All right, thank you. This was only part of it, guys. There is uh, another video, even more extensive. Um, this is outside of the train, and uh, take a listen to this uh, to this video here. I think we can stop this. Uh, Darth Vader, um, what in the world is going on here? Uh, you got me. It looks like some sort of gang initiation. Yeah. Yeah. Like when you had people just going up playing the punch game. Have you yeah. heard about that? Yeah, I've heard Where about that. People just go up and randomly punch, knock, or not the knockout game. Mm hmm. And mm -hmm. now they're taking it to the next level where they're dressing up like. Because usually people use green screen <laughs> to impose something. Yeah. When they're in videos. Mm -hmm. So I'm wondering if they're not purposely using green yeah. to impose something else. Uh, in like a final edited version of these videos mm. like somebody one of their groups in the background videotaping this and they're going to impose something else like beating up on these people mm -hmm, mm -hmm. oh i see what you're saying yeah it's just so random and so weird and again it's very hard for me to watch women being part of a gang although i know it's nothing new women do join gangs but it's just not something that you used to see yes roke by the way it is a gang uh in it's called the the green goblin green goblin gang in new york city so many of these women were actually captured um yeah they were at least three members were caught 
uh, only to be released without bail uh, the, the next day, of course. You know how we deal with our criminals today. We don't keep them in prison. They don't learn anything from their mistakes. Um, and, yeah. and you know they're just going to get released because New York has the no bail system. Mm -hmm. they, they're, they're all about the catch and release system. Catch and release. Yeah. I thought of I thought automatically as soon as you said this, when you go fishing, um, you know. Oh, that's pretty much what it is. is <laughs> they, they catch them, they book them, and then they let them go again. Yeah, yeah. So that wow. they can go out and do it to somebody else. That is disturbing. That is yeah. disturbing. Yeah, this is not how women are supposed to be behaving. And I think how does how anybody's uh, supposed to be behaving? Yeah, absolutely. How does uh how do you think identity politics and so on play a role in some of this stuff? How do policies, democratic run policies or affecting some of these decisions that you think these people are making? Oh, it, it's it's what allows them to get away with this type of thing, you know? I mean, this is the this is the result of being so lenient that they've become emboldened to believe that they can do this type of thing and be like, you know what? Yeah, they're going to catch me. Yeah, I'm going to get sent in front of a judge and I'm going to be back out on the street same day and just do it all over again. Who that cares? Is, that is that is that is disturbing. <laughs> it, it's sad to watch, you know, like there's no consequence whatsoever to their actions. There's no personal accountability. There's no personal consequences. Hmm. I mean, I, I saw uh, an ad. I was reading an article. It was speaking about, uh, what was it, a, Colum a Colombian president who has, he literally turned the country into the safest country uh, in the world, Colombia. You know, for those of you who know <laughs> anything about them, and the cartels and their drugs. But what he's done is he started putting people in prison. He started lacking up criminals and, and made sure that those who are inside of the prison are not contacting those who are, who are outside of the prison. And and he, he put his foot down and his city is considered one of the safest now. Wow. Uh, I can look it up as soon as I find it. Um, it was something to read about. I was like, wow. Um, I'll find it and send it to you. <clears throat> yeah, it, it's just sad to watch. This is what uh, our, our world has come down to. Uh, yeah, Megan, to I mean, that's that's kind of what I was thinking was like, that's why they're probably wearing like the green outfits. Pose uh, a she-hulk on top of mm -hmm. with the whole green screen aspect. Uh Yeah. Okay. Uh, Vegas, just well, verification. Let Let's clarify. New York City. New York City, to be exact. Yeah. The rest of New York doesn't follow what New York City does. Pretty much, the state of New York, if you actually look at the voting demographic, is mostly red. The only part of New York that doesn't vote red are Buffalo and New York City. And we're pretty much being held captive by those two parts of New York. If it wasn't for New York City, we'd be voting Republican most of the time. Yeah. That's actually a really good point. Yeah, there I found uh, I found the the video. So we're gonna um I'm gonna play parts of that so you hear how these these people this is uh this is his name is el salvador i'm not sh yeah i think it's, it's colombian yeah i might be mistaken though but um all right let's play the video we are honored to be joined right Right now, but we are honored to 
be joined right now by the president of El Salvador, President Bukele. Mr. President, thanks so much for coming on. So it sounds to me like you reduced the murder rate in El Salvador in a pretty straightforward way. I wonder why other heads of state aren't calling you for advice on how to do it in their countries. Thank you, Tucker, for having me. And I'm glad to be here. Well, I don't know. Um, every country, I think, have, has their own problems. I would guess that uh, probably our approach that is very, very popular with the people uh, has a problem. And, in, and the problem is that it has common sense. And yes. I say it's a problem because usually the new wave of governance is taking away common sense and it started doing things the, the other way around, the way that, of course, you shouldn't do them. So w when you, st it seems like when you became president in 2019, you focused very specifically on crime, gangs, murder. Is that correct? And why did you do that? Why that issue? Well, not only on crime, of course, we, we focus on other issues, education, health, public works, investment, tourism, infrastructure, et cetera. But of course, uh, crime is the most important thing. I mean, you, you might enjoy, enjoy a road or a beach, but that's if you're alive. So, of course, yes. the lives of the people are the most important thing. So that's uh, why we focus on crime more. But, we, of course, we did uh, focus in, on all the other issues as well. So you've uh, threatened to cut off food to gang members in prison if they don't stop the killings on the outside. Yeah. Do you think that they are directing those killings, they're responsible for them, and do you think this will work? Well, at the beginning, they were. They were ordering the killings from the prisons. In the prisons, they had... If you see most of the prisons in Latin America, they're like um, headquarters for crime. They'll be there. Yes. They have phones, Internet access, computers. They will give orders uh, from the inside to the outside. Uh, it's, you, know, you can find everywhere in, in, in Central and Latin America, you, you can find all of those examples. Now, in El Salvador, communicating to the outside, it's, it's impossible. You, you can't communicate from a prison to the outside, That's, there's the internet access is blocked. It's impossible. So, but, but still, all these gang members are the bosses of the other gang members outside. So of course, uh, gang members outside resent if you, uh, and, and won't like if you do something to, the, to their bosses inside the prisons. So we, one, of the, one of the things we did was we threatened gang members outside that we will take retaliation with their people inside if they continue the killings uh, of innocent people in El Salvador, that actually, if, if some people don't know this, but El Salvador was actually the murder capital of the world. I mean, we're, yes. we were a lot more dangerous than Iraq, Afghanistan, Syria, you name it. El Salvador was the worst uh, and the most dangerous place to live. It was the murder capital of the world. And now we're, we're on our way to be the safest country in the whole American continent. It's an amazing story. And I hope mayors of our cities, Baltimore, Gary, Indiana, New York City, will call you for advice on how to replicate your successes. Uh, Mr. President, thank you for joining us tonight. We appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Makes a lot of sense to me. Yeah. What do you say? I mean, you know, you crack down on crime and crime stops happening. That that's usually how you get rid of it mm. and make your home safer. Yeah. <laughs> there was nothing too hard about that one. I, I can assure you. Uh, oh, b before we move to our next part, I'm going to skip the Russian one. I'll do a personal video to that one. Uh, I want to check out this video here. Uh, this is where we bring a little bit of spiritual thing um, happening there. Um, yeah, thank you for that comment, by the way. Um, failed to affirm. Yeah, it wasn't a difficult answer from from the president of El Salvador. I don't know why we're making it look like it's, it's an impossible thing to fix. Yeah. We, yeah, it's just we're making a mountain out of molehill here. It's really not all that well, it, hard. It, I, I heard it in a movie once. Um, it, it's, you know, I'm going to go do what I do. And you go do what the government does is take something simple and fuck everything up. Yeah. <laughs> in, yeah. In other words, that's literally what they're doing. That's literally what they're doing. Uh